Draugr. The Draugr, yeah. I mean, what what are they? Where do they come from? Well, the Please first thing you more. have to understand is the further you go back in time, history, and what have you, the difference between a werewolf, a vampire, a ghost, a zombie gets a whole lot more fuzzy. Is it? Is, is the thing if you look at any kind of uh, mythology to do with vampires or werewolves or anything like that they seem to be a bit of both like when you talk about i mean you even see that into the latest stuff like you know bram stoker's dracula he's described as being somewhat beast-like or sometimes he's a vampire and even in sort of you know the uh, romanian mythology that there's like werewolves that drink blood but are they men are they beasts it's all a bit the concept of strictly delineated tropes this is a zombie this is a vampire this is a werewolf this is you know this is a ghost are you know there are no rules as to how you define these things it's what makes a good story 